I'm Travis Berger, and I work on NASA's Kepler telescope, which launched in 2009 and spent years monitoring over half a million stars. Hi, I am Veselin Kostov, uh, and I work on NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, uh, TESS for short, which uh, has been monitoring millions of stars over the whole sky since uh, 2018. Hi. I'm Dominic Benford, and I work on the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which will launch in 2027 and will monitor over 200 million stars. For thousands of years, humans have observed that the brightness of stars varies. For example, we can see stars twinkling from the ground. Stars appear to twinkle because turbulence in Earth's atmosphere interferes with the starlight as it travels to the planet's surface. But since the development of telescopes, Astronomers, both amateur and professional, have been studying other subtler and slower ways the brightness of stars can vary. Scientists have identified uh, tens of thousands of variable stars and uh, countless more are yet to be discovered. Some stars vary intrinsically, that is, their actual brightness increases or decreases with time. These variations can be regular, for example, our Sun varies by about a tenth of a percent across its 11-year solar cycle, while some uh, stars called Cepheid variables can double their brightness over the course of a single week. Intrinsic variations can also be irregular or semi-regular due to flares or, for example, explosive events. Some stars vary uh, extrinsically, that is, something external causes their apparent brightness to change. Eclipsing binary stars provide one example of extrinsic variations when one star in a binary system passes in front of the other star and blocks some of its light. Thanks to satellites such as the Kepler Space Telescope and the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, NASA has monitored many thousands of stars for years and there is a rich sampling of stars whose variability has been measured. However, since these variations are typically small and slow and the stars are faint, people can't just look up in the night sky and see these changes. Recently, space and ground-based telescopes have begun monitoring stars at an unprecedented rate, really. And we are learning how every star changes with time. We want your help to show people that stars in the night sky are always changing uh, but this change is usually either too slow or by too little to be seen by eye. The changing of stars is how we're learning about the universe. Some stars, called Cepheid variables, let us measure the distances to our neighboring galaxies. Exploding stars, called supernovae, let us measure the accelerating expansion of the universe. The tiny dimming of nearby stars when planets around them block out their light is the way we've discovered thousands of new and strange worlds around other stars. Your challenge is to develop a tool to help people learn about stellar variability, how and why the stars in the night sky change. Think about the best way to communicate this knowledge to your audience. Perhaps you'll create a game or visualizer that allows people to see star variations using data from NASA missions, or a curriculum that uses existing data and educational resources to teach students about stellar variability. Don't forget the most effective learning tools provide an enjoyable and educational experience for players or students.